Hi, my name is Shauna Kelly and I'm the general manager of Durgan Park Restaurant. Durgan Park is located in the North Market building of Faneuil Hall Marketplace. We own three buildings and they're four floors each. My family purchased the restaurant in 1976. Um, so since that time, I've held various jobs from bus girl to laundry girl, um, waitress, bartender, kitchen cook, um, and now manager. Way up on the fifth floor, we have storage space and offices. On the next level, we have locker rooms for the men's and ladies, employees, as well as a laundromat. On the next floor, we have a kitchen. Um, we have a butcher shop. We have refrigeration, freezers. And then down here on this level, we have a main dining room which seats 250 people. We also have a function space up one flight which seats 60 people. And then on the street level, we have a bar and an outdoor cafe. And in the basement, we have another bar. Durgan Park is 180-something years old. We've always been in the same location. We are the oldest business in continuous operation since Faneuil Hall was built by Peter Faneuil. A gentleman by the name of Jim Hallett owned the restaurant for 40 years prior to us taking it over. My grandfather had owned um, lots of restaurants and bars in the city of Boston prior to buying this and like folklore has it that he would only sell it to you know a handful of people that was Jim Hallett um, so he and my grandfather were friendly and the opportunity came up we used to come in here and eat as kids all the time and this was one of our family restaurants that we would come to and I guess my grandfather being in the business he felt that you know it would be in good hands we sold the company two years ago to the Ark Restaurant Group out of New York. They own 25 restaurants on the East Coast. They basically bought the business, and my family still owns the real estate, so they leased the building from us. If you decide to come on up, just come on up, and you can leave the I hate to keep getting server error on you. I'm going to make it an ovary so you don't get a bad rap. We have 110 employees, so I basically oversee all the kitchen staff, the maintenance staff, waitresses, bartenders, office staff. I just got a customer complaint because they served this moldy bread. Just so you know, I'm going to throw it out, okay? I think we have great people that work here, and everybody basically knows their jobs, and they they do it and it makes my job easier with all the people knowing what they're responsible for. This is my carriage. Are these all the same people or? No, I tell everybody, I say, you guys don't have to walk downstairs. Just yeah. leave it in my carriage yeah. park. Good, great. I charge $5. <laughs> you get a little something on the side. Tell me what's going on out here. Um, you trying to get some people in? I actually gave away more beans today than I think I've ever had. Oh, good. Which is good. really weird because you wouldn't think anybody would even be outside. Like, well, but they are. They are. They are. They are here. Okay. Do you need more beans or are you all set? I don't Boston baked beans. They're one of our most famous dishes. They've been on the menu from the very beginning. You, you know, it's a typical New England dish. That you know, the story is that back in the day of the the Puritans, they would make the baked beans and they'd have them for Saturday night supper because on Sundays it was a Sabbath where the people didn't cook, so they'd heat up the baked beans from the night before and the brown bread. It was a staple in New England. And you can actually see, these are our famous baked beans cooking. Okay, and we baste them every couple of hours because they cook for like eight hours. We come down here with this and we add, add some more liquid to it. And you know how beans cook up? They absorb the water. These are made out of molasses and brown sugar. And um, we're really famous for these Boston baked beans. Our menu specializes in New England styled cooking. Um, they call it like Yankee cooking. We serve all kinds of traditional food and our, our motto is like, it's very simple. It's all fresh and it's simply cooked with very little seasonings. You know, Boston scrod is like a, a white flaky fish and it's just broiled under, under the fire, served with a little cornmeal. 
and it's put on the plate like that with a lemon wedge. It's very simple, but it's really fresh and delicious. Yankee pot roast, corned beef and cabbage. We have all kinds of steaks and chops. Our biggest seller is New England clam chowder. We have prime rib you'll see downstairs in our dry aging room. Prime rib is a specialty of the house. We are one of the last restaurants in Boston that still make Indian pudding, which is a homemade dessert made out of cornmeal and molasses, served with vanilla ice cream. We also do Boston baked beans, cornbread, strawberry shortcake, and our, our basic philosophy is everything is made from scratch. Nothing is frozen, pre-portioned. We really do things the old-fashioned way, and there are very few restaurants around that still you know, do things like that. Thank <laughs> you.